We had a brief window of time in early March to hit the road for 11 days. Our goal, Grand Staircase Escalante in Southern Utah. This trip took us through all kinds of road conditions, weather, temperatures. Sun, rain, snow, ice. Took us through national parks, national monuments, state parks. So we had to make a few minor repairs. We got stuck a couple times, but not too bad. In the end, it all turned out good, and it was an awesome trip. We dropped into Grand Staircase Escalante at the northeast end of Highway 12 near Capitol Reef National Park. This is Deer Creek Campground. That is Deer Creek. You're gonna, you're gonna try to go through the bottom? I'm gonna try. Right. Okay. I don't even know how to start. I'm scared. That's what it is. Um, if it wasn't so darn deep, but maybe I can walk down. So now, how are you feeling about slot canyons? Um, <laughs> they're really cool, but also kind of scary. Yeah? Uh -huh. what, uh, what do you think might happen? <laughs> you could drop on down into a crack and break a leg or something. I'd bring you food. <laughs> Did you think it was going to be scary? No. No? <laughs> <laughs> So there's these things. Question for our geology friends. Mm -hmm. What are these things? Looks, it's like a little uh, nougat filled uh, <laughs> candy with a hard shell. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. What's going on here? So we think this might be where they're coming from. There's in there and oh look at this, yeah. This is where tunnel slot takes you. It's actually a loop. We're going to end up right at the entrance to zebra slot.
hibachi. Okay, you gonna be brown or black? I'm gonna be brown. This one, the one of the knobs. Last ball? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. The bocce winner. your night? It was toasty. It was, wasn't it? Uh-huh. What did you say the temperature was when we woke up? Outside was 37, inside 40. That is balmy. <laughs> well, when we got here yesterday, it was 67 degrees. Oh my god. And almost it, 6 o'clock at night. That was amazing. So it's going to get toasty again today. We had our first outdoor shower of the summer. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be awesome. Banana pancakes. They were smelly. These bananas had to go. We were expecting it to get warm today, like almost 70. Oh my gosh. This is the best summer I've ever had in winter. <laughs> what do you think about going to this rock? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And then I was thinking, like walking down and then I wanna check out up in here. It, it looks like you can get the up in there a thing. little bit, maybe. Yeah, and maybe, and maybe there's a like a. I'm interested in seeing how far that slot goes. Yeah. But really, then I want to walk around to the end uh -huh. and see how easy it is to get up on top. Top of that. Okay. What do you think? Sounds good. All right. Hey. There's the van. And here's that crack. So we're on the back side of the rock now, and it's got its own slot canyon. So here's where that crack would have come up, that crack that I was going up, the first one. Here's that slot canyon that Silica and I went up. And you could climb out right there, but it's a little dicey. Okay. Oh, sorry, this is very bright. It's very early in the morning. It's very dark outside. And this windstorm just came up. Um, a blast. So I went out and um, took the awning in uh, so that it doesn't bounce all around. Think we're gonna sleep again? Um, maybe. <laughs> this was the most amazing place I think we've ever camped. Yeah, it beat the uh, camping at Grand Canyon, outside of Grand Canyon. Oh, uh, the one in the Kaibab, yeah, Kaibab Kaiba. Kaiba National Forest, which was also very cool. But I mean, this is like being in the Grand Canyon. Kind right, of. which is so cool. So we found this spring just a couple miles off the the dirt road, well, another dirt road, uh, which looks perfect for our morning bath. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, just looking for 
dry spot to enter. Huh. Hey, what's that? Hello. We could be communicating with Germany in the middle of nowhere. Well, we suddenly got a signal, so we just stopped in the middle of the road to check our messages because it's been a while. <laughs> and it's not like anyone's coming. <laughs> This is a cool spot. So that's Kodachrome State Park over there. But we're still in Grand Staircase Escalante here. We're gonna go check out Kodachrome tomorrow. And there's some mountain biking trails in there too. Another day has begun, another beautiful sunrise. Working on breakfast here, and have you ever seen olive oil go solid? That's how cold it is here. So we're in uh, Kodachrome State Park and we're going to ride the Panorama Trail. Mm -hmm. So, should we build our house here or not? No. What's going on with your hair? It's frizzed out. <laughs> Why? I don't know, the water or something. So we found this place to spend the night off some dirt road, not too far from the entrance of Bryce Canyon. We're at Bryce Canyon, and it's kind of cool because we've been looking at these red, orange, pink cliffs for basically the whole week. But now we're like at 9,000 feet. And it's cold. It's really cold. Kodachrome, where we were yesterday? Was that just yesterday or two days ago? Yeah, yeah. yesterday. Is off in that area there. Uh, and then Grand Staircase Escalante's Sooner Rocks is like way down, way down there. So we decided it's time to head home and we brought up a route, but then we started to pull up some of the weather forecasts in some of those cities on the way and they were expecting like three inches of snow today, another three inches tomorrow. And so we decided to change our route and go somewhere lower elevation, maybe further south. And Death Valley is like below sea level. That's pretty low. 
So, changing plans, changing our route. But that's going to take us right through San Francisco. San Francisco? Let me start that over. <laughs> but that's going to take us right through Las Vegas. <laughs> our plans have totally changed. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. No. I am not I didn't even know we minute. went to San Francisco. <laughs> Okay, sorry. That's well, fine. We noticed we're going not too far off from Zion National Park. On our honeymoon, we came down here to Zion on the motorcycle and actually went backpacking way up in on uh, in those mountains there. And we remember this this amazing tunnel going through Zion. And so we thought, let's just take a quick drive through that tunnel uh -huh. and then get back on Highway 15. <laughs> Canyon, I think, in the vicinity of anyways. Yeah, it's Red Rock something. Okay, see ya. Okay, bye. So we're descending into Death Valley. And it's kind of fun to watch it on the altimeter because uh, we're headed to the lowest point in North America. And zero. That's the sign right there. <laughs> Elevation sea level, look at that. This is probably the lowest elevation we will ever set foot on. I guess. Do we have to step out of the car to say we set foot? You can. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you did it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop it. So now it's snowing on us. And the altimeter says 4924. We, we were at 73 degrees down at the bottom in Madwater Basin, and now it's 37 degrees and snowing. Next on our agenda was to find some hot springs we had spent the night at on our honeymoon. So all in all, it was an awesome trip. We're definitely going back. There's so much more to explore. Yeah.